Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example shows an elevator that is accelerating downward at 1.5 meters per second squared. In it, we have a pulley, and let's assume that the pulley is suspended from the ceiling, like this. And uh, we have two masses attached to a string, that's string going over the pulley. Notice that this mass is bigger than this mass, so MA will simply be suspended in the air there. And we're trying to find the tension in the string holding MA in place. Now the whole elevator with the two masses is accelerating downward at 1.5 meters per second squared. So what we should do is we should draw a free body diagram. So when we do that, here's, uh, we'll do that for the mass M sub B. And so here's what we would call a free body diagram. And now let's look at all the forces acting just on that one mass alone, since we're trying to find the tension in this string. Well, we can assume that there's going to be tension pulling upward. And then there's going to be the force of gravity, which is M sub B times G acting downward. And then we use the equation of Newton's second law that says that F net equals the total mass times acceleration. Here the total mass is simply the mass of the block, mb. And notice that the whole block and the elevator will be accelerating downward at 1.5 meters per second squared. So what we can then do is, well, the net force is going to be all the forces aiding the acceleration minus all the forces uh, that are opposing the acceleration. So since mbg is in the same direction of the acceleration, we assume the acceleration will be downward. Well, we don't have to assume. We're told that the acceleration is downward. So we can then say that the force aiding the acceleration, n sub b g, minus the force opposing, which is the tension in the string, should equal m sub b times the acceleration that m sub b is, is experiencing. So now we can go ahead and move this to the right and this to the left. So we have m sub b g minus m sub b a is equal to the tension. I cannot take my equation, turn it around. The tension is equal to m sub b g minus m sub b a. And then we could factor out an m sub b. Oh, so we can write it like this, that the tension in the string is equal to m sub b times g minus a. And that would be one way in which we can express the tension in the string on that elevator that's accelerating downward. And that's how it's done.